Hello, my name is John. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about functions. A function is a multiple procedures that will be executed every time this function is called. So for this example, I'm going to use a VB console application, but you can do exactly the same thing on any other programming language. So new project, Visual Basics, console app, and I'm going to call here uh, my simple function and click OK. Now, to have a function, I'm going to mo create multiple variables here. So I'm going to say dim uh, a as integer. And I'm going to make this a constant. So I'm going to say is equals to 10. Then I'm going to create another variable dim b as, as integer. And I'm going to assign the value of 20. Then I'm going to add another variable, dim uh, total. I'm going to assign the integer that type again. And I have not specified this. I'm going to make this dynamic. So it's going to give return these results. Now after I've added these variables. I'm just going to add, a, I'm going to create a function. Um, to create a function, you add the name function. And I'm just going to add add i'm going to create this function add and within within this function i'm going to basically select that i'm going to put by value the first value is a and then the first value is a is integer comma and then we'll say by val and i'm going to select the second value which is b which is again integer and then it will return the value as an integer. If you press enter, the end function will be added automatically for you. If not, just add it. So this function basically is going to return for me these two values added together. So I'm going to say return a plus, oops, a plus b. So automatically is replacing this for me. I'm just going to have to highlight and type A again. So this is what's going to return this function. I'll say A plus B. Okay. So this function will return every time I call the function add. So here on my main, I'm going to say total equals the first value. And let's put here, instead of actually here for the function for A and B, so let's call this X and let's call this Y so you won't get confused with differences. So I'm just going to call this X, I'm going to call this Y. Now it's going to return the first value, A and B. It's going to add them together. So the total is basically the X, comma, and the Y value. And I need to put the word add here because this is my function. So my function it's going to, it's called add. It's going to calculate the first value and the second value. So the first value and the second value, I've call, called it whatever I want here based on the variables. Then I will say console dot right line. And then I will say console dot read line now for the console dot add line right line i need to copy this so i want my right line to be this so i'm just going to copy this and then within the brackets i'm going to put this function here all right so the first value is going to add this together so i will know what the total is and then the right line will actually display the, the actual function now, what I could do is basically write the word total there, which I will show you in a minute. So if I press start, I will be able to see the number 30. So it's adding the first value and the second value. So because I'm calling the add function. So if I stop that, and if I say line, and I'm just going to type the total variable, because I know now what the total variable is equals to, the total variable is equals to my function. 
and the function has two values, the first value and the second value. And I will be able to see here 30 as well. Now, if I change that to, just for testing purposes, to 50, so the function is executed by me changing the values of the variables. Now, these variables are constants. You can always make them dynamic, so people can actually add the values. Okay, just to take this a step further, what if I wanted to uh, make uh, uh, a, a function which will calculate the VAT? To calculate the VAT, what I will need to do, let's say, for instance, my Y value is the VAT, and my VAT is 20%, and the X value is the cost of uh, the product. So in order to calculate the VAT, what I will need to return here, I will need to say the first value, A, times the B value, so which is the second value, and then the total I'm going to find, I'm going to divide it by 100. This will give me the VAT. However, if I say plus here and say the A value, it's going to add the VAT plus the actual product uh, cost together. So if I put here 10, for 10 pounds, the VAT will be 2 pounds. So in total, it will give me 12 pounds. So if the function is right, this means that the calculation that I will receive here, the total I will receive here, should be 12. Let's test it. Okay, I've got 12 here, and that works fine, because it calculates the two values here. I still have two values. I might have a bigger calculation, but the two values I've got here are the two values I'm, adding, you know, I'm having on my function. Now, I could call this function a bit more, uh, more appropriately. For example, I could call this function VAT function, which means that here I need to change this to VAT. Now, for the dim x, I could change that cost for the product, and the y, I could call it my VAT, because I don't want to conflict with my function, my variable with my function. So I call it my VAT, or the current VAT. So let's call it CVAT, so for current VAT. So then I will say here, the x is the cost, and the y is the CVAT, is the current VAT. And as you can see here, I've created a function now, which is called the VAT function, and the total is the VAT based on the cost and the CVAT values. And within my function, I'm calculating these two values in such a way that will return the actual correct result. So if I run it, I should be still be able to see 12 here. Okay. And if I change the value to, say, for instance, 5, we we'll should be able to see 6 pounds there. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. I hope you've learned something new today. I hope you will be able to implement uh, a function onto your program to make your program uh, a bit more uh, useful and functional. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.